Hey, and welcome back. Going forward, I'll be continuing to explore some basic introductory recruiting topics. In my last video, I tackled how to break into the recruiting industry with no experience. Let's move past that basic first step. So in this video, I'd like to explore how recruiters go about finding clients. Clients are the organizations that recruiters provide their services to. It should be noted that they are different from candidates, who are the potential hires that are located after a client has given you the information and the job order about a brand new role they need your help with. In other words, without clients, there would be no business. A pool of qualified applicants is worthless without any roles to fill. So before we get started, as always, please consider like, subscribe, click that bell. Really means a lot. As I've said before, technology and the internet has changed the way recruiting is done. Just like online job boards and video conferencing is now utilized to source and interview candidates, recruiters also utilize the many tools at their disposal to locate new clients to work for. You may be familiar with this process known as lead generation. There are many ways to go about generating potential leads, but it usually requires that you have a strong track record and high reputation. After all, companies will only want to work with recruiters with proven results. It can be harder if you're just a new recruiter starting out which is why many who are just getting started in the staffing industry find getting hired at an agency especially valuable. The agency has the reputation to provide a steady stream of work so you can focus on learning the ropes and making connections. Once you've established yourself in the recruiting sphere, you can start to think about generating leads on your own. Here are some of the best way to do that. Cold contacts or cold calling. Before the internet, cold calling or reaching out unannounced to businesses without knowing if they need your service was one of the most common ways of generating leads in sales oriented roles. Certainly, the world of staffing has evolved a lot since those days, but cold calling or emailing can still be an effective way of finding clients. Marking yourself is incredibly important, so even though it's unlikely a potential client will hire you on spot, cold calling can be a great way to put yourself on their radar. There are a few ways to go about cold contacts. For instance, there are many email finder services that will source a list of emails that you can send marketing to in bulk. Since cold calling can be inconsistent, many find that a wide net is the most effective way of going about the process. However, this can often be cold and impersonal, so it's important to go through and personalize your outreach as much as possible. The more a company feels that you've got them and their interests in mind, the more likely they are to hire you, let alone respond to you. In either case, you wanna make sure you're reaching out to the right people. Try to look for hiring managers and get in contact with them during this process. Social media. It should go without saying that social media is one of the most effective ways of finding clients. Virtually every company has a social media presence, and hiring managers are likely to operate their own personal accounts as well. Those are all potential lead sourcing opportunities. Think LinkedIn, maybe Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Additionally, being active on social media helps grow your brand awareness and shows that you're a serious recruiter. The more platforms you're present on, the more likely you're able to be seen by the right person. However, it's important to not go overboard. You can easily stretch yourself out too thin, too fast, resulting in diminishing returns. It's best to pick one or two social media platforms, perhaps, to maybe focus your efforts on, so you don't have to worry about maintaining too many different accounts on top of your usual recruiting tasks. Content marketing. Along those same lines, marketing Marketing yourself online in other ways is effective at getting your name in front of new clients. More traditional methods include email marketing campaigns, newsletters, or blogs, but as more platforms emerge, you can get creative too. That's one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel in the first place. You could even consider other media sharing websites like Snapchat or TikTok. Be sure it's relevant to your preferred industry so you're not marketing to the wrong people. Job boards. Of course, you can use job boards to find candidates. Think Monster, Indeed. But they're also a great place to look for clients. If an organization is advertising job openings, you can reach out to them to see if they could use your service. They may be interested in hiring you, but if not, you've at least gotten them familiar with your name. Contacting businesses already engaged in a search for new employees offers a better chance of success than cold contacts because you know you're serious and they have a sense of urgency to fill that role as fast as possible. Find your niche. So, in the past, I've talked a lot about the importance of industry knowledge in the world of recruiting. If you have deeper insight into the operation of the role you're hiring for, you can make more informed decisions and find the ideal person for the job. However, it's hard to have specific knowledge as a generalist. Bouncing from industry to industry or position to position, it can mean a steady stream of income, but you can also get paid a lot more for specific specialized jobs. By picking a niche, you can advertise yourself to clients within that sphere for more valuable and fulfilling jobs. Get referrals. So if you've been working in recruiting for even just a little while, chances are you've made some connections. Connections are the heart of this people-based business. So foster them and reach out to your strongest connections for referrals. Even if you are new to the industry, you can leverage your contacts from previous jobs or even your friends and family for referrals. Get creative. Everyone has a connection they can take advantage of. But when it comes to applying to recruiting, think of candidates, think of clients. Who do they know and who do they know? Hone your process. 
Having a niche means you can focus in on details that generalists can't. When you start to see patterns in how certain types of companies conduct their operations, you can offer valuable insight as to how their actions affect the hiring process. Again, bouncing from industry to industry does have its perks, but you can only get this kind of deeper insight from focusing on something specific and getting specialized. Having to adjust your process for every client means less time and dedication to specific aspects of their industry, which could mean less effective hires and less money long term. Like many sales jobs, the most effective recruiters find that lead generation has a snowball effect. Once you start finding clients and fostering relationships, the work starts to come to you. As you grow as a recruiter, it's very likely that you have to put less effort into sourcing leads as you begin to get repeat business and referrals. This honestly just wraps up this video on how recruiters source and find clients. Do you have any thought about it or what do you like best about this video? Comment down below. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please feel free to like, subscribe, click that bell. It's completely free, really means a lot. Feel free to also follow me at Preston underscore Park as I try my best to also post daily. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.